First tonight, breaking news. Governor Gina Raimondo has declared a state of emergency for Rhode Island amid concerns about the coronavirus. She's also announcing new measures to make sure people who have to stay home receive pay. Now, here's the latest numbers. The health department says the number of positive cases in the Ocean State remains at three. The governor says the risk to most residents remains low. Health Director Dr. Nicole Alexander-Scott says they have six tests still pending and 53 have tested negative. She says about 290 people are still in self-quarantine. Eyewitness News reporter Rob Nesbitt just got out of the governor's briefing and joins us now live with what else was announced. Rob? Mike and Shannon, Governor Raimondo, let the public know that there are insurance plans available to them if they are required to take time off from work because of the coronavirus. She also signed a state of emergency just a few hours ago to provide more federal resources in the state. Since three people tested positive for COVID-19, the number of those self-quarantining at home has grown to 290 in Rhode Island, according to the state's Department of Health. Governor Raimondo saying that she has asked for help from the federal government to provide more unemployment benefits to those having to take time off from work. She also says the state will be allowed to tap into a stockpile of personal protective equipment, but that the public should not panic because their risk of getting the virus remains low. I felt it was prudent to declare the state of emergency, number one, so that we can access the National Guard quickly, um, if and as necessary. And number two, so that we're in the very best possible position to receive any federal aid that may be or may become available. So, it, the, as I said, we shouldn't panic. There's no widespread community transmission. I want every tool at my disposal in order to protect Rhode Island. An assistance phone line and email has been set up for the public to use by the Department of Labor and Training if they have had to take time off from work. Both of those, the phone number and email at the bottom of your screen, the phone line is staffed Monday through Friday during business hours. Live in Providence, I'm Rob Nesbitt, Eyewitness News. Thank you, Rob. Massachusetts is now reporting 41 positive cases of COVID-19, most of which are linked to the Biogen conference in Boston last month. So far, there are no reported cases in Bristol County. Meanwhile, Lifespan, Rhode Island's largest hospital operator, is restricting visitors. As of today, no visitors will be allowed in any adult units at Lifespan's hospitals. Hasbro Children's Hospital and Bradley Hospital will allow one parent per patient. People coming to the ER can be accompanied by one adult only. In a situation like this where the prevalence of the infection is not that well known, it's, I think, better to be overcautious and limit the flow of those people rather than expose people unnecessarily to the illness. Lifespan says exceptions will also be made for guardians and decision makers in special cases. And the Diocese of Providence has announced this year's Faith Formation Convocation will be canceled out of an abundance of caution. The diocese says anyone who purchased tickets will receive a full refund. Rhode Island's Education Commissioner says they're taking steps to protect the state's schools from COVID-19. Appearing on Dan York's State of Mind, Commissioner Angelica Infante Green says they've been communicating with both public and private schools to make sure they are taking proper precautions, including regular cleaning. And she says that includes school buses. We also work with the bus companies after every run, cleaning, afternoon, morning, so that our kids are safe as much as we can keep them safe. Lawmakers have asked the Education Commissioner to set up protocols for remote learning as a precaution if more schools need to close. As concerns over the coronavirus grow, Governor Gina Raimondo and the Department of Health have announced additional protections and resources available to Rhode Islanders. Boston and New Haven have canceled their St. Patrick's Day parades this weekend. Here's more of the very latest. Now, Governor Raimondo has announced a state of emergency here in Rhode Island. And the health department says the number of presumptive positive cases in Rhode Island remains at three. Governor says the risk to most residents remains low. Health Director Dr. Nicole Alexander-Scott says they have six tests still pending and 53 have tested negative. She says about 290 people are in self-quarantine. Iowa to Susan Porter, Rob Nesmith joins us now live from Providence with more. Rob? 
the governor let the public know that there are insurance plans available to them if they're required to take time off from work because of the coronavirus. She also signed a state of emergency just a few hours ago to provide more federal resources in the state. Since the number of people who tested positive for the coronavirus has grown to three, the number of those self quarantining at home has grown to 290, according to the state's Department of Health. Governor Raimondo says that she has asked for help from the federal government to provide more unemployment benefits to those who have had to take time off from work. She also says that the state will be allowed to tap into a stockpile of personal protective equipment, but that the public should not panic because their risk of getting the virus still remains low. I felt it was prudent to declare the state of emergency, number one, so that we can access the National Guard quickly, um, if and as necessary, and number two, so that we're in the very best possible position to receive any federal aid that may be or may become available. So, it, it, as I said, we shouldn't panic. There's no widespread community transmission. I want every tool at my disposal in order to protect Rhode Island. An assistance phone line and email has been set up by the Department of Labor and Training to assist people involving the coronavirus and unemployment issues. That phone number and email is at the bottom of your screen. The phone line is manned Monday through Friday during business hours. Live in Providence, I'm Rob Nesbitt, Eyewitness News.